What is going on everybody? It is the King CWM coming back at you with a brand new Let's Play. Now, we are going to be playing today one of the three winners of the vote. Puzzle Dragons, Puzzle and Dragons Z. That is right, everybody. We are going to be playing Puzzle and Dragons Z. And I am so excited to play this. And now, to basically get into it fully, I'm going to read to you what it says here. <clears throat> Join a crew of dragon tamers who brave dungeons in a quest to save the world on the verge of collapse. This game is a spin-off of the standard Puzzle and Dragons with fun twists on the battle rules and monster evolution. Now, if you can see this, there's two games in front of you on the left side of the screen. There's Puzzle and Dragon Z, which we'll be playing, and there's also Puzzle and Dragons Super Mario Bros. Edition. Now, I want to ask you guys, if you want me to play this at the end of the series, when I beat Puzzle and Dragon Z, or if I get near the end, do you guys want me to play Puzzle and Dragon Super Mario Bros. Edition? Because I would like to. It looks pretty cool. It's a spin-off of this one. So if you want me to, let me know, and we'll play Puzzle and Dragon Super Mario Bros. Edition. All right? But anyway, let's get into the game. Yeah. All right, we're going to be starting a new game. I did a practice run to make sure I knew the game mechanics, and I did. It's really fun. All right, let's do this. Ooh. Yes, I would like to override it. I am a male. I've decided, for this Let's Play, I've decided to name myself... King. So I'm going to be known as King here. I'm not going to be the King CWM because that's going to get so difficult to keep saying and everyone, when everyone repeats your name, just saying the King CWM, King CWM, King CWM. King sounds better in my opinion. So we're going to be going with King. Yeah. Now if I don't like it, maybe I'll redo it really quickly. But I think King will work. All right, let's begin. Welcome to Dra Dracomania. I can't even pronounce it. A continent. Welcome to Dracomania. Dracomania. There we go. Okay, Draco. Yeah, Dracomania. A continent that both humans and dragons call home. Ooh, okay. Ooh, killer battle. Yeah. A rare few can bond with dragons by using the energy orbs in the atmosphere. Interesting. So there's just orbs in the atmosphere? Okay. These people are known as dragon tamers. Use your fireball attack. Ooh, pretty. Zed City. Zed? Zed? No. Zed City is... Z, yeah, whatever. Z City is home to many dragon tamers, including you, King. Oh, wow, they actually have my name just right there. Huh, that's cool. That is me, the legendary hero of the prophecy. Today, your adventure begins. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, this is my mom. Okay, um, up and at him, King. Nick and Sarah are here to pick you up. Don't keep your friends waiting. Hurry downstairs when you're ready, dear. Oh, okay. Sure. My, oh, pretty cool room. All right, I'll make sure to do that. Oh, can I run? Oh, I can run already. Ooh, so this is pretty cool. They definitely made the graphics look much better than the uh, original version. I played the original on the t like App Store, I think. But this one's, I like it quite a bit better already. I like the look of it. Good morning, King. The big day is finally here. Your dragon tamer test. Yes, it is. Good luck. I'm sure you'll pass with flying colors. I think I will. Oh, pretty nice house. Nice sized kitchen. What kind of TV is that? All right, anyway, we're going to go. Get out there and make me proud, King. Sure thing. I will make everyone proud. Ah, oh, I guess these are our friends. Who are these guys? Yeah, these are our friends. Ooh, what voice should I give them? Yo, King! Ready for the test? Me? With all right here and left here, I'm ready to come out swinging. Ha 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 ha! No, jeez, this guy's intense. Ah, oh, Sarah, okay. Good morning, King. So, are, are you 
at all nervous about the dragon tamer test? So am I nervous or no? No, I'm not nervous, sorry. Really? You and Nick are way more confident than I was when I took my test. Ha! <laughs> Can we skip the pep talk and get going? Come on, King. Let's w l last one to Ranger HQ is a rotten egg. <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> That's our Nick, always charging ahead. Let's head to Ranger HQ. We don't want to be late. No, we do not. You are right. The slow walk. Do, do, do. The graphics are actually really nice. I actually really like how this game looks so far. It's that like old-fashioned 3D um, look, but it has the newer blend to it. I actually really like this so far. Ranger HQ. Ooh, nice. Ooh, who's this guy? Oh, the captain. <clears throat> what voice to give him? He looks like one of those, like, badass old guys. But he's not old. He's, like, in his 50s or late 40s. Oh, I know what to give him. These are our new recruits. Interesting. Your names are King and Nick, correct? I'm Captain Watara. Welcome to Ranger HQ. Thanks! Thank you, sir. Eager to take the st Take the test, sir. Gonna destroy it, sir. <laughs> All right. Man, Nick is intense. Are you now? Hmm. Nice gusto, recruit. Huh? Now, before you two start your dragon tamer test, I'm gonna give you both your D-gear. Please. I can't stress this enough. Take good care of your D-gear. Now, go ahead and put it on. We get the D-gear. That's actually pretty cool. It looks like a dual disc from Yuki. If you guys know what that is, the old-fashioned dual discs. <laughs> Ooh. Get our little cool thing on the right side of the screen. Ooh, I'm liking this. Connecting. Accessing. Your D-gear is based on tech developed at the Dragon Lab here at HQ. D-Gears store the monsters we use in battle. Their entire body saved as digital data. So is that like a mix of Pokeballs from Pokemon and like the Digivice from Digimon? Hmm, pretty cool mix. This allows you to carry many monsters with us because they all are saved on the D-Gear. The well, that's actually pretty cool. It gets rid of like the PC function. Hmm. I'll explain later how we capture monsters. From now, for now. Think of the D-Gear as a way to unleash them and destroy your enemies one by one with a passion and flame that only you can do. Anyway, <laughs> these devices are reserved exclusively for rangers. So recruits, take pride in your D-Gear. All right, I will. My own D-Gear, that's some deluxe stuff. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. You need to pass the test to keep it. Now, now. Here are a few monsters for you. What, you just are gonna spawn monsters right here? Oh, I guess you are. You got eggs for Mega 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 Gone, Mega Gone, Megalagon, jeez, Zobgon, and Morgon. All right, so Morgon and Megon, <laughs> these names though. <laughs> Those eggs contain the genetic code for monsters. Anytime you get an egg, you can bring it back to HQ, where we will hatch it for you. Remember, your eggs won't hatch without the assistance of our scientists. Okay, that's good to know. Now, come along. It's about time you meet them. Am I meeting the scientists? Ooh. Ooh, nice. Let me introduce you to Professor To. T Toma Gana. Tomona Gana. Toma uh, Naga. Tomono Naga. Tomoga Naga. Whatever. I'm going to call him Tom. <laughs> we'll help you get ready for the test. For your test. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what voice am I going to give him? Oh, jeez. Okay, I know. Oh! New recruits. A pleasure to meet you. Welcome to Dragon Lab. I'm the head of this lab, and if I may toot my own horn, I'm the world's foremost authority on... He's the genius who invented Zeus, King! Who's Zeus? What, what is Zeus? C 
Come on, Sarah, you know how that sort of talk makes me blush. <laughs> but behind me is Zeus, the device we use to hatch eggs. It ta it'll take a only an hour to explain how it works. Take notes, I'll be giving pop qu quizzes as we go. <laughs> so wait, buddy, you think we're going to be doing a quiz right now? You think we're going to be listening to you for like three hours, talk about your machine? No, we came here for the test. Let us do the test now. Let us emerge into the test. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, see, even the captain's like, uh. <clears throat> Professor, the short version, please. Oh. Oh, right. Of course, Captain. <laughs> the device is easy, easy to use for recruits. If you just give Zeus your eggs, he will give you monsters. That simple. Simple enough? Captain. Anyway, recruits, step right up to Zeus and give it a try. All right, we won't. All right. Oh, hey, that was a cool animation. Didn't expect that. Ooh, all right, well, let's do this one. I'm going to go with the fire one. Unlocking the power within. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hey, look at that. We got our first monster, Megalagon. Megalagon. I like that. Megalagon. Oh. Oh, we get all three? Oh, that's awesome. Don't you wish Pokemon did that? Allowed you to get, like, all three of the starters? Oh, that would be amazing. Or at least two of them. Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, this guy's pretty cool. Zabagon. And now Morgana. Or Morganon. <laughs> Let's see what this one is. Uh, um, I think Morgan got the short end of the stick here. <laughs> he, <laughs> his fit, all right, I'll talk about him in a minute. You see, Zeus hatches eggs. It uses the genetic code in eggs to synthesize, synthesize monsters. Woohoo, my turn. Yeah, I just made him country for a minute. <laughs> Wonder what kind of monsters he got. Your monsters look great, King. Yours too, Nick. Now, thanks to the professor's genius technology, you can put them on a monster team for battle. Please, Sarah, genius. I'm not doing that word. I'm glad to share everything I know about monster teams through. Though. Which should only take about a week. I'm not listening to you for a week, buddy. What is with you in long conversations? See, the professor, see, the captain and I are like, we're similar in that, right? Because we're like, no, no, sorry, bro. We're not listening to you. Um, <laughs> professor. Oh, fine. All right. Short version. <laughs> you make teams in your monster botch box, which you open via your D gear. Viva. Via. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Many monsters have skills. Some even have leader skills, which can benefit your whole team. Okay. That's useful to know when making a team and assigning a leader. Now, let's give it a try. All right. Let's make a team with your new monsters. All right. We're going to put red guy. I guess he's going to be the leader. And we'll put blue. Look at this guy. Seriously, look at him. <laughs> And let's put you in. Okay. There we go. Well done. Your first team. Let's get to the test. Wait, we're on guy. My apologies. <clears throat> let's get to the test of your dragon tamer abilities. Follow me to the main hall of the ranger HQ. Yes, sir. Ooh. All right. You will take your test using these VR machines. Ooh, VR. Hmm. We never send new recruits into real dungeons. Not until they've proven themselves. Now, do your best to impress me. Step up to the VR machines, both of you. Yes, sir. Good luck, King. You too, Nick. All right, let's do this. The Dragon Tamer Test. Let's begin. I love this music. You hear that? Hmm. Oh, all right, where are we? Hello, can you see me in there, King? Our VR machines are quite incredible. This dungeon only 
This dungeon's only virtual, but it seems real, right? Yeah, it kind of does, actually. Let's get to the test. The training you receive here will be helpful in, to you in real battles. You should see virtual orbs at any moment. Let's see them yet. Look more closely. I, I, I see them. Red, green, blue. They're so beautiful. They're, oh, I'm sorry. I got entranced by them. Now that our virtual dungeon is up and running, let's start off with your test. Good luck, King. All right, let's do it. Yeah, let's do this. Ooh. See, one thing I really like about this game is you can actually see, like, the bottom screen isn't just for, like, a menu. It actually shows the actual gameplay, which is amazing for everyone. Just, like, kind of like Pokemon, but it's, like, more. Virtual, oh, this is like a robot. Let's use this. Virtual, dungeon, stable, tutorial, program, starting, begin, do it now, fight. These glowing objects are orbs. You should know this. He was just told you. Yeah. Do that. I'm not doing that. The robot is. <laughs> you can move orbs freely by dragging and dropping them. Okay, I, I think I get the gist of it. There are six kind of orbs. So this is like a tutorial, by the way. You clear them. You clear them by matching three or more of the same kind horizontally or vertically. Fire, monster attack. Water, monster attack. Not reading all that. <laughs> These are your monsters. They attack if the orbs you clear match their element, obviously. If you did not know that, you do not know how to play games, don't you? <laughs> this is an enemy monster which will attack when the counter above it, it above it reaches zero. So he has one until he hits us. Okay. This is your team's total health. You'll lose a battle if your health reaches zero. You can heal by clearing heart, heart orbs. You see the ones with hearts on them? That's the one I'm talking about. This robot's very smart towards me, huh? You trying to be a smart owl, buddy? Hmm? Now, try moving the... the tr tr nah, let me try that again. <laughs> now, try moving the orbs to the line. Three or more in a row, drag and drop the glowing orbs to the bottom. Do it. There you go. Ooh, that's a combo right there. The more orb change you clear with a move to generate your total combo damage will be... Oh, wow. So that's the basis of the fighting there. Okay, I really like it so far. It's very basic, but it's actually really cool. It's like this nice, um, simple combat. I like it. You can move orbs as long as you have time in the gauge. We win. <laughs> you see how much experience your monsters gain after a battle. As well as any D energy, you two, your monsters will level up after they gain enough experience. So this is just all a tutorial, basically. Okay, I get it. All right, I'm going to stop the robot voice. No, I'm going to continue it. <laughs> when facing many enemies, you can unleash a group attack by clearing five or more orbs in a line. Try it yourself. Match five red orbs in a line. Goodbye, plants. Annihilation. Or should I say, annihilation? <laughs> Ooh, we leveled up. Nice. Got some gems there, too. Next, we will cover skills. Hey, that guy's different. Tap the skills button on the lower screen. Okay. Any monsters that have skills ready for you to use will be lit. All of them currently do. Select flame breath. Okay. Let's use it. Flame breath. Oh, wow. That was some damage. Oh, that's really cool. So not only... Do, that's a, that's really different from the old game. So you can actually... Not only do you have the puzzle part, you can use skills too. That's really cool. I like that. Most, monster, most monsters have skill. Try a, experimenting with as many as you can. You must spend skill points to use a skill skill the more powerful it is the more points you need ah so it's kind of like pp in a sense from pokemon finally let's go into elements attributes every monster has an attribute such as fire or water all right so fire beats wood it's wood see it's not <laughs> i actually found that funny fire beats wood wood beats water water beats fire okay and light and dark basically kill each other all right that works out 
each element has the advantage over another one. Another one. And another one. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Show by the arrows above. You'll do more damage if you keep the system in mind when attacking. Now complete the dungeon using these basics of battle. Thank you, robot. <laughs> Wait. Thank you, robot. I appreciate your help. You will. You were very great to me. But now I'm sick of you. All right, let's do this. All right, let's do a double combo. Annihilation. You have been destroyed by me. <laughs> Victory win. Dungeon cleared. Well, that's excellent. That was a fun tutorial. They actually made that quite fun. I enjoy it. Love this music. It's so awesome. Hmm. I watched your moves. I watched your moves on the monitors. As far as for my assessment, you both aced the test. Ooh, nice. Your dragon tamer abilities are excellent. So I officially welcome you to the rangers. Yes, I'm a ranger now. Yeah, we did it, king. We gotta have a victory feast. You know, you know how... BBQ powers make up a drumstick in each hand. Okay. <laughs> I think I may have read that wrong or he just said it like that. Nicely done, friends. I knew you'd join our ranks. One more thing. You two, take these. You got the Tamer card for your D-Gear. Oh, nice. You can access your Tamer card on the D-Gear menu. I like how he's flexing. <laughs> That card is proof that you are one of us. Don't lose it, or get it barbecue, or get barbecue sauce on it. <laughs> Other dragon tamers can see your tamer card, so be careful what you put on it. Okay. You'll automatically you'll automatically exchange tamer cards when you make street pass exchanges, but only if you turn the street pass feature on. Street pass will exchange. Exchanges will happen automatically even when the game is not active. The player's name and message on your Tamer card will be sent to other people in the Street Pass exchanges. Do you want to turn on the Street Pass feature? No, not right now. That's fine, the Street Pass feature will remain deactive. So maybe I'll be able, if you guys have this game, maybe you would actually be able to um, send your um, information to me if you're playing along with me at least. Nah, that's pretty cool. If you change your mind, you can always change the, the setting for, from the title screen at any time. Man, that's pretty cool. All right. Now that you're officially Rangers, I trust you'll hand or, handle a serious mission. Wait, what? We're getting a serious mission right off the bat? Well, I could handle it. We've had reports of a s suspicious people lurking nearby Dragon Tamers. Uh, Dragon Tamers up to no good. Started making trouble in his neighborhood. Oh, sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> I'd like you to patrol the the Horia area. The Hora area? Ugh, a real mission on the first day. Just the two of us, we're gonna dominate. <laughs> I like Nick. Um, Nick. <laughs> Sorry, recruits. I know you're, you're gung-ho to prove yourselves, but this could get dangerous. I'm sending one of our skilled rangers with you. She'll have your back, won't you, Sarah? Of course, Captain. I'm delighted to help help with your first mission yeah hey our buddy's coming with us too let's go straight to the hora area fastest way there is to head south from hq be careful out there the reports of a rogue dragon tamers have me worried yeah that is bad saving yay save complete well guys that was really cool i'm actually really liking this game i'm pumped to make more videos of it i'm liking the mechanics i'm liking the gameplay i'm liking everything the characters are cool and i'm really liking the whole flair of the special abilities with the puzzles and the monsters are pretty cool speaking about monsters let's look at them so we got um this is what's his name again i need to get my stylus out won't let me do the Megalagon. Megalagon. Alright, so he's a true dragon type. He does three times fire damage for all foes with his flame breath. And soul of fire, which is his leader skill, raises the attack of all fire monsters. Okay, so if I had like an all fire party. Alright, that's pretty cool. Next we have Zabagon, 
who is a true dragon type as well. Pretty cool. Recovers 1500 HP. So he's a heal type. Ooh, he's really good. I'm going to keep him on the team, definitely, then. Raises attack of... And Soul of Water raises the attack of all water monsters by a small amount. That's really cool, too, for his leader skill. And finally, we have Morrigan, who is somehow a true dragon type. I have no idea how that face is a true dragon type. But okay, maybe she evolves or he evolves into a dragon type. Anyway, his um, skill is Guard Break, which lowers the defense of all foes for three turns. So that's really cool. And his hit leader skill is raises the attack of, of your wood monsters by a small amount. So Soul of Wood. All right. So I would say Morgana is my least favorite of these. Um, Megalagon is my favorite. And then we have Zabagon, which is my second favorite. So Zabagon has the strongest HP. Strongest attack goes to Megalagon, right? Yeah. And defense goes to... Morgan. All right. So we have the HP, defense, and attacker. All right, that makes more sense. Good to know. Well, anyway, now that I'm done showing you off our cool team, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Puzzle and Dragon Z. Let me know if you want me to um, do the Mario Bros after we beat the game. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in my next episode of Puzzle Dragon Z. Take care, everyone.